you know, sometimes people want me to teach them a magic trick, and as a rule, I don't like to teach magic because I don't want the competition. But uh, I don't mind teaching you one thing because this isn't magic, it's origami. Are you familiar with origami where they fold paper into birds and flowers and things like that? Well, I keep a sample inside this little matchbox, folded precisely the way the origami guy showed me. See, a lot of people don't know that if you use money for origami, uh, you can make it tricky. And, uh, well, here, I'll just, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So you start with a dollar like this, and then you fold it once, and then over. You fold it twice, and then over. And now, when you unfold the dollar, the laws of topology have been defined. And while George started as an upright president, now he is down right, or right, well, I mean, well, the upside is down. Now, see, when we started, he started like that. See? It's origami. It's not as easy as it looks, by the way. No, I mean, each of these folds has to be done in a precise manner, you know? For instance, when you unfold it, you don't ever want to unfold it like that, see? If you do it that way, then the dollar will be right side up, but George will be upside down, right? You don't want this. So you just have to make sure when you fold this thing, fold this thing, that you unfold it the exact same way that you folded it, only backwards, like that, see? And now, George will be right where he's supposed to be, see? And uh, see, and you thought origami couldn't be tricky. 